Normally, navigation are used to navigate through documents. So in our case, we have this home about features and products. And for example, in normal ways, when you click on about, you just need to navigate through the about document. When you click on about, so you need to have this about document. So to navigate to each document, you just need to click on the navigation. But in our case, this is not what we are dealing with. So what we are dealing with in this page is bookmarks. And what are bookmarks exactly? Bookmarks are used in general to allow readers to jump to a specific part of a web page. So in our example, we have a longer page when each part of the page is presenting a section. For example, if I just select here, the open the inspector, so you'll see that I have a section here, which is about, okay? Let's just put that longer a little bit. And if I go to the other section, so you see that this is the, the features okay now this is the features to navigate through the section so we have a longer page and for example let's just go to products those are the products let's just find out what is the product is exactly okay section this is the product section so forget about the names because they are using some names, they are not 100% linked to the sections, but in general, so this is the section product and this is what the, the inspector is telling us. Okay, we have a long page and to navigate through each section, so you need to do that manually, but this is not productive at all. This is why we need to create a navigation that will help us to navigate through each section by clicking on this links. So for example, if I want to go to the product section, I just need to click on product and just navigate to the section products. Okay. If I want to go to the about, I just need to click on about. So this is not the normal navigation when you just navigate through document, but it is used in our case to navigate through sections. Okay. We get it. Bookmarks are used if we have a very long web page and they are also used to navigate through sections without scrolling manually. Not only sections, but any part of a web page that you need to navigate to. This type of navigation are very helpful to enhance the user experience. Okay, enough of the presentation. Let's just move to the code. I have a services page. Let's just move that. Refresh the page. That to the right. Close the inspector. What do I have here from the HTML code? I have from the HTML code and navigation, articles about us and contact, the main part of the page. And I have three sections. Collapse that. Three sections. The first one is articles the second one is about us and the last one is contact how to navigate to each section without using the scroll bar if i click on the links so it is not navigating to any section and how to create this bookmarks first we need to define how to navigate so this is the navigation we need to define the section you want to navigate to but first let's just create an id here and i will define for example articles what i mean by that so i just give an id articles to the section now, to, the, to navigate to this articles part, I just need to use this hashtag from the href, then the articles. By using this link right here, we'll navigate to this articles, okay? Let's just create the next bookmark, ID, about us. And for the last one, I have ID, contact. Same here, I will use this hash symbol, then about us. And for the last one, contact. Now I have a navigation so that can navigate to each bookmark. So articles, about us and contact and i'm defining the ids on each section and from the browsers now if i navigate to about us you'll see that i go to about us section and if i navigate to contact so i'll just go to contact section and if i visit articles so I'll just go to section articles so this is a better way so to create bookmarks if you are in a situation when you need to go to a specific part of a web page without doing that manually and without forcing the user to scroll through the whole page